Duncan McKay, purser. I have no idea how the fuck he knew who this was. Except by his dress. Hello again, Girok. And again, you, you just see these things, these guys in the clutches of the tentacles, and you're supposed to extrapolate that they were drowned by the beast. I don't... It, it, it's a little vague. That's this thing says I still have eight people. But I don't. I only have like four. Scratch that one. We only got three. I'm not sure that... Okay, if you can play it on your TV with the Switch, I'm not sure you, on the little screen you would see enough detail to play this well. I'm not sure, as I don't own a Switch. I was thinking about getting the Switch Lite just because I'm going to want to eventually play like Bayonetta 3. <laughs> Let me see. Like, okay. Um, these two guys are topmen. Or this guy is a topman. Right? Or is he? No, I don't think he is now that I think about it. Let me look at my list here for a minute. Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong chapter. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm just looking through here. And I am going to read all this to you. I don't know how. I'm going to give credit to this guide, too, because I wouldn't have been able to do it, half of this without the guy in the guide. Um... Here we go. Again, these are all guys that got drowned because they were in the doom on the deck. Um, Wei Li, again, he is mostly known because of his um, because he was a topman. I don't know why I have so many unknowns either. But we have four Chinese topmen. I mean, it's pretty much anybody who was on the damn main deck got killed by the beast. Okay, and this is... Alright, I'm going to show you... This is the helmsman. Why? Because he's got his hand on the damn wheel. <laughs> so, duh. <laughs> I can't believe that. Like, I didn't... <laughs> didn't that didn't twig whatsoever with me because I wasn't fucking paying attention. I was streaming and trying to be entertaining and I was being a douche. <laughs> I wasn't playing the game the way you're supposed to. Again, though, this guy, Charles Minor, to this day, I don't know how you're supposed to know who he is. No, Charles. He actually is the guy that was downstairs. So, I do know how you're supposed to know him. Um, the butcher's thing. So obviously I'm I was terribly unobservant <laughs> when I played this the other night.
that should be everybody from the Doom, though. I don't understand why it isn't updating. Like, here's MOBA. And all these guys. That guy is, was busy down here. He's over in there a lot. Um, we're going to leave now because we're going to go. We got pretty much all of the Doom done. We got to go back to the... Um, uh, the upper... Oh, you know, no, I want to show that thing off downstairs real quick. And how bad I was. I think it was over here. Um, I can't tell if that's the carpenter's room or not. <laughs> Oh, wait, is the carpenter downstairs? Hold on. Yeah, man, you can get in there. Oh, no, that's the secret area. I believe that's the carpenter's room. Why does it look like I didn't do any of this? Yeah, there's the bug. No, this isn't the carpenter's room. This isn't where I want to be. Did I get this guy? I don't like how sometimes they cover up their own picture. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. See, that guy is all over the place. That motherfucker worked. <laughs> Okay, now this guy is the guard. He is also the guy that gets accused of murder unjustly. He's the guy who gets um, knocked out by Nichols. There's a really in-depth story here that's really good that I glanced over because I was so busy trying to solve the damn game. And we're going to go over that before I sign off and before we do the ending. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Fuck. This is the brother that gets killed. That is the other... Peters. Okay. And up there you'll see old Lars, I think. Is that him? Yeah. And up there, I believe, is his other brother that I can't really lock on to. But this isn't where I want to be either. So we're just going to abandon that. <laughs> One thing we're going to do, though, we have to go through that goddamn... The whole rigmarole with the mermaids. Because I really fucked that up. <laughs> Alright, here's the severed leg.
I really screwed this up too. Unholy. Keep pressure here. I, I really. This was near the end of the night where I was really like just exhausted. Twenty years, my steward, and never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse. Throw them back or doom us all. Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those things. He may yet find his senses. Come on. All's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Where's the rest of his leg? Okay. So, this fella here is John Naples. He was killed by a sword. Which you can see clearly. I don't know how I miss it, and I'll show it to you. By the captain said, 20 years of my steward. Duh. So I'm an idiot. <laughs> Um, this, one of these dudes is the surgeon. Who I'm not sure, um, since he didn't die here, I can't really look him up. Because there's your sword, and I'm an idiot. Come on, let me lock onto him. Thank you. Okay. God damn it. I did it again. I keep wanting to do this. Okay. Um. But there's more stuff here to know, too. This Was this the one? This is the guy who keeps control of things on the deck. Um, is this where the fucking carpenters were? No. Damn it. Okay, so one of these guys is the surgeon, I believe, because there's his case. So I'm pretty sure it's this dude that's the surgeon. I don't know how he died yet. If he did, even. Um, this is the captain, I believe. Hard to tell without his hat. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we can leave this memory now. But I was at a loss when we played this the first time. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Yeah, this dude is spiked. I really want to find the dam. I checked everything over there. So it's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> you know, I missed something outside a window, too, now that I think about it. Um... still just looking for the damn carpenter <laughs> just so I can show you how lost I was when we were playing this the other night oh that's right there's no exit from here I 
I think it was this room. Yeah, here we go. Okay, where's the nearest body? Around here. It might have even been the, um... Uh, the skull on the wall. Okay, this poor asshole got killed by falling cargo. <laughs> um. Okay, I don't know how you're supposed to know who that is. <laughs> it is William Wasson. Who is a seaman. Again, you can, you know he's a seaman just because he's fucking doing the shit job that nobody else wants to do. But why? how you know he's William Wasson? Not a fucking clue. But the interesting thing that I missed was this. And he is either the carpenter or the carpenter's mate. And the only way to know if you're right is if the game tells you it does, if you do it in a set of three. And I mean, the guy that got killed with the sword was alive um, when, you la when you see him in the memory and you only find his leg. <laughs> so... <laughs> So if you go in here, if you get around this big boy and see this fella, he is the carpenter's mate. you also notice that as we... Um you know, definitively define the men and who they and how they died, your cruise manifest starts to get real small. <laughs> Not here though. But um let's see, what do we got here? Unknown Unknown spiked spiked ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. This is wrong. Um Uh, uh, that was weird too though. Let me look him up because this was, uh, he was framed for a murder he didn't commit. Um, the, the thing is that only one of these guys actually hits him. And you have to really look at the trajectories of the bullets and who fired them. And he was actually killed by Henry Brennan, uh, another seaman. So again, I I had no clue what I was doing when I was playing this. I I was just not paying attention. <laughs> it's pretty terrible. You know what I'm gonna do too? I gotta check out that picture and see if there's some blurry dudes, because apparently I'm that's the artist. Again, even if the other clues hadn't been completely telling you who this dude was he's got a you know drawing pad with him so yeah I was completely not paying attention and we gotta find the door to this memory so I can get the hell out of here but what we're really going to look at is on the open sea, because I really screwed that up. 
What I'm looking for is why there are so many unknown. Here's another thing. She's dancing with the captain's wife. And there's only so many women on this thing. So she's obviously one of these two. Like, these two are two women. You can interchange them, you can hopefully get one of them right. Or the other, they'll both right. If you get one right, you get both of them right. <laughs> but what I'm really looking for is blurry pictures, because we've got a couple of unknowns there that I'm not happy about. And the only, you can't identify these guys if they're blurry. But I'm not seeing anybody that's blurry. So that's a good thing. That means we found them all in memories. So let's go back up top and... Oh, there's actually one more I want to get that's down here where the crab things are. I'm not sure if this is the dude or not. A bitter cold. Well, same as the other fellow. Some lung disease, not consumption. Made worse by the cold. We it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <laughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. I actually give him poison. <laughs> okay, so obviously... In part one... There's the two, um... I'll show you. It's easier to show you than... It's, um, they're both semen, and they're both from... India? Yes. We already identified Solomon Saeed. So I should have immediately known this guy was the other um, in, uh, guy from India. Again, dumb. That was dumb on my part. Literally dumb. <laughs> Also, it, you have to get every fate right, or you don't get the secret ending. <laughs> you get the bad ending. Which I don't even know if I streamed. Um, okay, we can close the book. This is... I was torn because I wasn't sure if this was the surgeon or the surgeon's assistant. He is the surgeon. Um... Pretty obviously. This is, I believe, the captain. Yeah, that's the captain. I thought I got him. Oh, well, regardless. He ain't dead yet, <laughs> so I'm not gonna worry about it. Again. And these are the other Persians, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah.
Yeah, we already did this. There's no reason. I can skip this. But this is how you know. The Persians were all bunked together. And one of them says Sayed. Okay, but you also... And here's an interesting thing. Find these guys over here playing cards. Who speak Russian. And I'm trying to remember if... Um... Hold on a minute. Let me see something here. He's one of the gunmen. Um, but these guys all can be identified because they speak Russian. And I'm just sort of looking to... Um, and again, this is complete conjecture and extrapolation uh, based solely on this memory, which is pretty fucked up. It's funny, I'm not finding this motherfucker anywhere. <laughs> hmm. I know he's a Russian, though. Let me take one last look. It's not essential that I get him now. But, I mean, come on, he's a guy with a gun and a Hitler mustache. How hard is it to find him in this thing? <laughs> There he is. Alexei Topodov. Again, you just... You know he's a Russian. And he's another one of the Russians. Whoops. I don't know... He was shot with a gun by an unknown attacker? I don't remember that, but we'll see. And again, I am going to read through this whole thing, and I'm going to give the credit to the person who wrote it, um, because I wouldn't have figured out all this shit without any without help, obviously, <laughs> obviously. Um, and it's a really cool tale of what actually happened. There he is. He was shot by Emily Jackson. Oh, he is another of the Russians. And you can probably get that in the picture from how he's dressed and who he's hanging with. And so, by process of elimination, this is the final Russian And there you go. And again, I had how they died, just not who they were, and all you have to do is switch the names around until you get the three that are right that'll give you your um, confirmation. Um, so we can leave this memory and I think now we're going to go to the open ocean one which is where I really shit the bed. And you can actually eliminate like seven or eight names from that. And again, a, a big portion of this game is eliminating suspects. Mm. 
Like, you're just trying to get these names off your fucking list. <laughs> it was murder. Oh, I fucked up. Well, I'll show you exactly. See? This guy misses. This guy misses. This guy misses. That guy hits. That's how you know that's Brennan. Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Ready, men. In. Fire. Also, Mr. Wolf is commanding the firing squad. Okay, so I wasn't that dumb. I knew how to do that. <laughs> This is the woman who was protesting. She wasn't torn apart by the beast. Oh, we'll get to her. Hold on. Hold on. Hold everything. Hold on a minute. Drown decapitated corruption. Oh, Claude. That's not right either. Uh, we'll, we'll get there. This isn't the memory I wanted anyway. But I mean, look at all these people. These are all Topmen. The carpenter. Oh, I didn't do the memory with the butcher. We can get there too. In fact, before I do that, maybe I'll do that real quick. We'll show off exactly how bad I was with that scene, too. Come on. Get down there. You can do it. So what we're looking for is that steer head on the wall, and I think it's down here. It might be upstairs, actually. Yeah, it was upstairs. There it is. Let's just say this doesn't paint me very well. Okay. Heads are here. One swing. Get through the skull in stone or brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. See the apron? That's because he's the fucking butcher. <laughs> 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 